Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to episode number 14 of Romario's Return to Rio. We're getting quite close to the end of the series now, guys. Uh, if you are looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, then check out the FIFA shop.co.uk and use the code LA5TY to get yourselves a nice 5% discount. Every single episode, as I say every episode, has smashed 2,000 likes. So... This one should be no different, right? If you could drop a like for me right now, that would be epic. Uh, and in the background there, you can see the team that we are currently rocking. But you know what, guys? Seems as it's really close to the end of this series, and we've got a lot of coinage. It's time to splash out on the main player of this series. And that is going to obviously be the future of Brazil, Neymar Jr. Or Neymar dos Santos Jr., whatever he's called. We need him to fill that central attack in mid spot. So we go out into the market and pay 265,000 coins for the man himself, Neymar. Five star skills, five star weak foot, looking really good. So we have a bit of a ceremony. We have to... We have to replace the old, the legend, Ronaldinho, the current legend, with the possible future legend, that is Neymar. Um, so we had that little ceremony right there, obviously. Uh, and this is how the squad's currently looking. I mean, this is the final squad, guys. This is what we've been building up to the entire time. Really, really strong Brazilian squad with Romario and a couple of informs as well. Um... So as I said last episode, we forgot to open the final two packs that we were going to open. So we go out and pick up ourselves a Chesney in a pack there, uh, which is, you know, all right, not too bad, but it doesn't really sell for anything. Uh, and that was just from the 100 point pack because I only had 250 FIFA points left. So that's worked out pretty perfectly, to be fair. Uh, and then we go ahead and open up the next one and get Mika Richards. That's probably the best player we've pulled in a pack the entire time uh, when we really, really don't need him, which is... Uh, just awesome. So we go into a match, our first match with the man himself, Neymar. And we come up against a very strong looking Brazilian squad uh, with this guy from uh, a, a recent team of the week, Thiago Neves, out on that left forward. And we go into this match, make a bit of a mistake in the 40th minute and he sort of pounces. There's not much really more going on in this match. I was kind of struggling, but we have that shot with Neymar just before half time, and it does smack the post and bring around that whistle to go for the half time um, break. And as you can see, I'm, I'm looking better, to be, on, to be honest with you. But I was 1 0 down, and it was really frustrating. But Hulk gets through here. Lovely, lovely turn, and he misses the shot. The one thing I can rely on him to do is to hit that shot in. Uh, but in the 85th minute, we get through. Diego Costa then get a shot, gets saved as well. But we are part Piling on the pressure. Neymar with a lovely ball through. And Diego Costa is an absolute monster of a finisher. We get that goal in the 87th minute to get ourselves back into the game. And in the 90th, we're through with Diego Costa. We stick it in the back of the net and go celebrating because we end up winning this match right here. Now, you'll notice that I haven't put any coin bonuses up. What is the point when we're finished with the squads? We're not buying anybody else. There's no point in paying myself. Um, and we've got 40k on the account if we ever need it. But we do end up winning that match. 2-1 right at the end. And that was quite a euphoric feeling because... I was down and losing for so long in that game, and we eventually do win it. Um, so, as, again, I'm just showing you the squad, just in case you haven't seen the full thing properly or had a chance to look at each and every player. But we go straight into another match, and we come up against a guy with um, a Mexican attack and, like, a Liga BBVA defense. So it's all uh, looking pretty, pretty tasty, actually. A really good team. When you see people like this, you generally know that they are a good player because they've thought about the players they're going to use. We go 1-0 down in the 8th minute and I, I struggled so much against this guy. Going into half time he was absolutely dominating me even though we had a few shots on target. Uh, but quite early on in the second half he gets through with that and I've got to admit that is an absolutely fantastic finish. Puts us 2-0 down and he tells me to calm down as well which is deserved really. Uh, but we do get a goal back in this 70th minute with Willian. Uh, a bit of a sort of a P-roller underneath the goalkeeper but you know you can't really complain. But just a few minutes later he gets through, sticks it in the back of the net. What can I do about that? You know he was just a far better player and at the end of that game you can tell that we did end up losing 3-1. Um, which is not the greatest thing. I really wanted Neymar to start coming into it a little bit more. Um, but I think what it's time for, after replacing Neymar's contract, because he's already moaning that he's not getting paid enough. So we have to give him a new contract right there. Uh, but it's time to go into a the final match of this series. The final game. 
we come up against an English squad um, with a Casillas in goal and a bronze in the midfield. I don't know. The guy was a fairly solid player. He was one of those guys who, on the ball, like possession-wise, he was quite solid. I couldn't really get it off him. Um, and we, we got a bit of a lag in the game as well. But look at that. The, the ball just sort of drops, falls out to Romario. And will that be the final goal he scores in this series? Who knows? But in the 31st minute... Uh, a cross ball through gets Rooney on the end of it and we go to one all, which is a bit frustrating, isn't it? But we do get through here with Felipe Melo. Neymar takes the shot and he gets the goal that we wanted him to score in this series. He finally scores, which is awesome. Uh, then we play it through to Diego Costa just a few minutes later and we do smack it into the back of the net in order to go in at half time. 3-1 up and feeling quite comfortable as you can see we switched it around in the first half and eventually did get more possession uh, and uh, we get through again here in the second half Diego Costa out strengthening the defender to just keep on that run and he smashes it into the back of the net and we go 4-1 up which is really really awesome then we get through with Romario here just wiggling around keeper saves it unfortunately Neymar does the chop but someone's taking out Diego Costa um, in the box and of course he quits. We don't even get the penalty. I wanted to score one final goal with Romario from that penalty spot. I feel like it would have been perfect, but he quits. So that's the series. We round it off with a 4 or 5 1 win. 4 1 win. So that's pretty solid. And this is the squad. This is the final squad that we've actually picked up in this team. We've got some really, really solid players in here. Danny Alves, a great right back. So much pace. Uh, Thiago Silva, Dante and Marcelo looking epic. But Neymar managed to get a goal and an assist in the three games that we did play with him. Um, Diego Costa was an absolute phenomenal player. Loved him. And then Romario ends like this. 56 goals in 29 games with also 19 assists as well. It's just... Absolutely fantastic. Um, that's the squad then, guys. What I'll do is I will do another episode for you tomorrow with a bit of a rundown of everything. But we have played our final matches now. We've got our final squad. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed. But I'll see you again tomorrow with another episode. If you could drop this one a like, that would be epic. Uh, and I will see you next time, guys. Peace.